There is a growing number of crimes in places San Francisco counts on for tourism. That's despite extra patrols. Netta Iranpour joins us live from San Francisco to explain. Netta. Good morning, Michelle. Yeah, it's getting worse in many of these popular spots all across San Francisco, despite that increase in police patrols. In fact, they've doubled police patrols in several of San Francisco's top destinations, which includes Fisherman's Wharf, Chinatown, Union Square, and right here off of Lombard Street. But what's known as the most crooked street in the world is the target of crooks. About two million tourists a year do come out here, and many of them drive rental cars and they park them on the street, likely full of cameras while and luggage. Criminals know this. Police say they've made more than 140 arrests in the Central District since April. And that might, may sound like a lot, but there were 66 car burglaries in one week alone. Muggings and robberies are also on the rise. Yeah, I think it's gotten worse in the last couple of years. I mean, that's why I put the cameras up like over a year ago. In fact, Jose Leos's surveillance camera captured a break-in from July. It shows a family from Utah leaving their car for only about 15 minutes. And in that time, a burglar looks through the windows, breaks glass, and runs away with a purse and expensive jewelry. They're seeing a lot of broken glass up and down these streets near here. And because incidents like this are happening so often, despite all the police that are up and down the streets, we've seen a couple of them drive by. Uh, so now police are asking for the public's input. They're going to the homeowners and business owners, trying to ask them, what they think they should do uh, because, of course, they believe something drastic needs to happen to make it all stop. Live in San Francisco, Netta Irampur, KPIX 5.